this truck, uh, a lot of team are uh, looking for the best efficiency because uh, m most of them can run in a thermal throttling of the battery because uh, the power demanding on this truck is very high. So lowering the roller resistance will be probably the most common thing to do for all the team. Now let's talk about the chip that is inside the tire. Yeah, so this tire has got a lot of uh, innovations inside and uh, we are in a championship uh, of the future and of course we wanted to introduce maximum technology inside this tire and we also introduce um, RFID uh, chips. Uh, this RFID is used today uh, to uh, help the scrutineering, uh, to help the scrutineers to check uh, that each driver is using the tire he is allowed to use. So it's a way to check the identification of the tire uh, without checking um, specifically the barcode, which needs to be clearly on the right uh, side, on the right part of the tire. So you can check very quickly uh, that each driver is running, the tire is allowed to do run. The teams are giving you some feedback about the tires on what they want, or you are just building this tire thinking on the production for the road? So clearly um, we are using competition and specifically the Formula E championship as a laboratory. Uh, so, um, and that's why this tire is looking uh, like a, a, a street tire. It's not only a, a question of uh, aspect, it's also the, the, the trade pattern is very uh, close to the Pilot Sport 4, which is a commercial tire. Uh, the size of the tire helps to have a very quick transfer of technology. So uh, we, we use the, the competition as a laboratory to the normal street, uh, for the normal street tire. But uh, of course, we, uh, we have to develop tire uh, that will perfectly uh, target the needs of the drivers and of the teams. So uh, on each race, we, we get the feedbacks uh, and, we, and for the development of the next season's tire, we use these feedbacks to improve, to improve the tire of the next season. So we have to work on the two, uh, the two um, areas, uh, work for the championship, develop the tires for the next generation uh, and next seasons and also to, uh, to learn for the normal street tires. And that's why we are doing also in parallel of the championship, some testing to develop new technologies for the, the normal street tires. So clearly, Formula is a championship, uh, which is a laboratory for the street tires. But of course, we have also to race and we have to produce and propose the best uh, possible tire for the teams. And talking about the race, the Formula E, it's a very uncommon championship because until now we never had a rainy race. But I'm sure you already did a lot of tests with this tire in the rain. Yes, sure. Because uh, the, one of the particularities of this tire is the fact that this tire will work in every condition. So you will not have to change tire if it starts to rain which is a kind of revolution in such a level of championships. Uh, it was, it was uh, um, also one of our proposals to develop such a tire to uh, have a better efficiency because we have to uh, develop, produce and transport only one type. Uh, we have done, of course, a lot of tests on rainy conditions uh, to define and to uh, freeze the design of this tire and we uh, we have seen that the level of performance on the rain was very high. The driver uh, also uh, had the opportunity to test on uh, rainy conditions uh, in Dunnington on the official test, but except on some qualifications, uh, we never had a race on rainy conditions. It looks like because this tire can work on rain, that the rain know that and the rain just say, okay, no need to fall because we know the tire will work. So the tire is ready for rain. And uh, do you think the driver will appreciate the fact that the tire can do rain and dry condition without changing, without anything? So 
will be very uh, a very uh, well matched uh, race. So it will never happen that a driver will get in the pit lane, change the tire, and then stop raining. This sometimes hurt the race. With this tire, you can just keep going, keep racing, and never stop. Yes, of course, that's, that makes their, uh, their life uh, much easier because they don't have to think about uh, any change, about any choice. Um, of course, it's easier to uh, think like this because it's a uh, trade pattern tire, so uh, it's more complicated to run on, uh, with a slick tire on wet condition, but it's something also we are able to do with the Michelin, uh, with the Michelin hybrid we developed for the WEC championship. But anyway, in Formula E, so we have a trade pattern, so in terms of uh, uh, the psycholog psychologically, it's not so complicated to say I stay with the same tire. But anyway, uh, when it starts to rain, there is always a, uh, questions from the teams. Uh, do you, are you sure we uh, we can stay with the tire? And definitely, we can we can stay with this tire because it has been developed to work on uh, all the conditions, on normal rain conditions and uh, dry conditions. And now let's image a rainy race. It starts raining half the race. The drivers are allowed to change the tire pressure to cope with the rain or not? Uh, so, in fact, um, um, we, uh, so, uh, we agree to, 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 to uh, allow to, to change the, the, the pressure of the tire. So, uh, if the, the conditions are changing a lot, uh, specifically for the qualifications, of course, uh, for the, the race conditions, it's uh, depending on the on the what happened and when, of course, because uh, uh, if uh, if it starts rain at the middle of the stint, they will not stop to, to change, and the, the tire is, uh, is has been developed to work also in, in that type of uh, situation, so they will not have to, to stop anyway. So the, the the team have to respect a, a range of pressure, but this pressure, this running pressure, it's a targeted pressure. They have to, to target this, they have to reach this, so they have to start uh, with uh, a level of, of pressure, and uh, if it starts to rain, that, that, will, uh, that means that there will be cooler conditions, and that means that the, the tire will uh, build up less temperature, will build up less pressure, so that's why you need to start with a higher pressure in these conditions to reach the targeted pressure. And that's why we, 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 you need to allow the teams to change the, the, the cold pressure, the, the starting pressure, in case of uh, raining conditions, uh, specifically because of the temperature will be, which will be lower. So they, they will need to increase the, to increase the, 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 the pressure of the tire.